Hi, it's Kate. Welcome to my the very first video for Rubber Dance. I decided I will show you how I'm playing with my jelly plate. I have jelly plate many years, but I wasn't fan of it. But recently, when I got my Rubber Dance stamps and I try to stamp and um, also use them for jelly plate, I I was so happy how they works that I decided that my first uh, video will be about jelly printing. And because I'm a bit of crazy artist person, I'm going to show you how many layers you can add to your jelly plate and what you, what you can make with it. So my first layer was gold acrylic color through the stencil. I cut all the drying process. Of course, during applying another color, there is drying time, but I don't want to bore you to the death <laughs> on the drying time. And I will be applying another, another, and another layers of color, but to each layer, I will be do some stamping. And because I like how it looks when you stamp with acrylic colors onto paper, I will have by my side all the time some paper. Sometimes I will have the jelly print to add some interest on it. But uh, it's uh, beautiful, it's funny, and it's relaxed. I'm very beginner in jelly jelly printing sorry <laughs> but i found out that when i layer many layers or many coats of color i have awesome and interesting prints and i'm using my very old colors these ones are uh, english brand called uh, from the crafts it's artist i think and i have them like eight years probably eight years. So they are thick, they are not so liquid, but printing, jelly printing with them, it's awesome. And because I'm using awesome stamps, it's uh, it's very easy to jelly print with so old colors. I, I don't want to buy news when I have this one. Sorry, this is a little bit blur. My camera wasn't uh, focusing. Sometimes I'm making thin layer, sometimes I'm making thick layer. It's just experimenting. I want to show you that you don't have to make one layer. It's so, such a fun to make more layers. I'm, of course, here working mainly with the stamps, but you can use more layers of stenciling or using some die cuts, some masks. Jelly printing is really fun and you can create so awesome papers. You will see uh, in the second part of this video what I made with all jelly prints. Just one of those jelly prints which you will see at the video is not there, it's not used. But the others which I made all are used and uh, originally I was playing like 15 minutes 15 and some some minutes some more maybe oh this print is awesome I knew that my old not dry but old colors will left this jelly plate in layers some of them will left jelly plate with from the bottom some not. I don't know if it's because all the paints are old, very old, or because I'm not uh, patient, but I love it. All the time I have very interesting print. Look at this, all layers, there's the gold peeking through. When I like this print, that print, I will put it away. For using later when I don't like it. I will pu put it next to my plate and I will stamp on it. So I will use all my acrylic color in creative way. And as I said, I love stamping with acrylic colors. Another layer. And this is 
quite boring. So it's time to add some stamping. Of course, I can do some stenciling on it or die cut from this paper, but I will stamp on all not so nice prints. I'm using just basic printer paper. This is not heavyweight paper, this is nothing fancy. But when I'm working with them, I always glue some heavyweight paper underneath. So they are then very useful, I can say. Another print which is not so... This is nice print, but I will add something contrasting. And I love to make contrasting stamping over jelly prints. It's, it's nice. Uh, today I'm working with uh, purple, pink, and uh, teal, teal blue colors. But of course you can use any colors which you like. I just choose this one because we have got rainy day. We have got quite heavy lockdown in Czech Republic if you are watching in uh, March 21. So I need colors these days. Another print and of course this dark pink is not working good on my jelly plate. It was drying, I cut all drying time, I was patient but nothing happens. So I have another layer to pick up from my pl jelly plate. But you know what? This layering always it always makes so interesting prints that it doesn't bother me that my colors don't work as I wish. Look at it. It is awesome. It is just awesome. And I'm always applying contrasting color. For you it can be messy. She's very messy. She's applying one color after another color and she's not ready and her jelly plate it's not clean. But when you will see at the end what kind of cards or what design I made from those jelly plates, jelly prints, sorry, you will see that I was patient. It's just that I knew that all those layers will not go away from jelly plate at once. So, another print. And can you see? I pick up much more color and this is mixture, this mixture is just beautiful. Uh, some, some jelly prints I don't want to have contrasting color on them because I will stamp on them and fuzzy cut the images and you don't want to have all the time very busy page. Look at this, beautiful. There is still Plenty of color at my plate. Yes, after so many minutes of jelly printing, my plate, it's 15 to 15 centimeters, it's 6 by 6 inch. It's also, my jelly plate is poor, very old, I think 7, 8 years old. I have just this one. I wasn't big fan of jelly printing, so I bought the small one. But it's great. I can use it for my card making and I'm 80% card maker. Look at this stamp. This is such an awesome stamp. This is boring. Boring. There's so much color left on the plate. It doesn't bother me. Let's make another print. It was cleaner <laughs> recently that plate. Now it's not. This gold is quite specific. Jelly plate Printing with gold or silver, it stays longer at the plate. Look how my jelly print is turning into something nice when I'm stamping on it with gold. And now we are going to finish with jelly printing. I, of course, made some more jelly prints, but uh, let's go to see what I made with uh, all the jelly prints. Here is five card ideas. All cards are so simple that I'm not showing you how to. For all cards I use jelly printed papers and uh, all of jelly printed papers are glued onto 
heavyweight card stock before it's glued to a no card. So this is my first card. It's very simple. Here it's stamped and hint embossed, just hello. I used white puff embossing powder. I'm not sure if it will be visible at camera, but there are photos at the end of video and you will see how it's uh, lovely structured. And I can show you how it's shining. It's beautiful print, easy image. You don't have to even color image. Just stay like that because it pops up. It's, it's nice like this. The second card, I stamped and heat emboss onto vellum leaves. Then I stamp and heat embossed with gold embossing powder. It's not gold, it's weather gold uh, embossing powder. And uh, I stamp it onto jelly printed paper. So it's lovely bouquet. Here I decided I will not add anything. There is a little bit of... Uh, a stenciling at uh, at the background but it was too dark for me and because I was working on, on non-porous surface I can clean it and nobody sees it. <laughs> the third card it's uh, I think for teenager maybe. This is again jelly printed but not from jelly plate but stamped with acrylic colors. And I just stamped and he embossed one flower. There are some washi tapes, some stamping with black ink and just stickers. Stay cool. The fourth card, I think this is my favorite. There's very nice print. I used uh, gold icing paste by Prima Marketing through stencil for background. And then I stamped again these lovely flowers with uh, embossing ink and I heat emboss it with white puff again puff it means that it grows when you heat it and it's it's lovely so with white puff embossing powder and there's just because sentiment so this I, I really like the contrast of teal and this uh, purple pink it's really beautiful and this is the last idea all cards are very very easy again jelly printed background stamping and heat embossing over jelly printed background for paper there is just uh, paper paste by Prima Marketing through some very very old stencil and heat embossed sentiment miss you and I fussy cut it with scissors so these are all cards which were made with my jelly printing and it's awesome because you have got really such original material and well, material papers and it take it took me before cutting video 15 minutes to create all the papers and one paper left for some future card making. So it's fast, it's original, it's fun and it's relaxed. <laughs> so I hope you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a nice day!